Well, my Saturday, 12th of September, started off as any normal Saturday, going to play golf. And I got up as normal that morning, took my normal breakfast, healthy breakfast, and I headed out. And I was about maybe five holes in when I started to feel a bit uncomfortable. Uh, got very warm and I was sweating a bit. And then I felt my chest getting tight and got concerned at that stage, I have to say. I was aware of the symptoms. I thought to myself, that sounds like heart attack. The symptoms, but I wasn't sure because I never had an illness ever in my life and I wasn't on any medication. So I decided to go home. I went into the clubhouse, got into the car and drove up home all the while feeling a bit uncomfortable. Not in serious major pain, but just uncomfortable. When I got to the house, uh, my wife and son Neil were both in the house and I explained to them how I was feeling and I told them I was going to lie down in the room. And while I'd done that, they decided to phone for an ambulance. And because I live in a rural village, Cushendall in County Antrim, we're 45 minutes away from an ambulance, either way, Coleraine or Antrim Area Hospital. And what happens then is that once you phone an ambulance, the emergency services make contact with people who are called first responders. In a village like ourselves, we have a couple of, that's all, only a couple of first responders, and we are kind of dependent on them being available. But as it turned out on the day, they were available, and they came to the house to see me uh, before the ambulance would arrive, which has worked out very well, because uh, they prepared me for CPR and possibly defibrillator. Uh, they shaved my chest and opened my shirt, this type of thing. And I was having a conversation with the first responder, Joe, and then I went into cardiac arrest. So Joe performed CPR, put the defibrillator on me, and I come around fairly quickly. I responded fairly well to that. Uh, now, I don't remember the initial part of Joe putting the defib on me, but I remember coming around and uh, he was still working on me at that stage. And uh, I said to him, look, I think I'm okay. And uh, he kind of stopped at that stage. And he then kept talking to me and really prepared me for the ambulance crew arriving. And when the ambulance crew arrived, uh, they reassured me and said that uh, the first responders had done a good job. And I then went to the ambulance and headed off to the Royal Victoria Hospital. And if it hadn't been for them, you mightn't be here today then? There's no doubt about that. I mean, uh, the, these things are such a small window of opportunity time-wise. You really have minutes to spare. And that's why this initiative today that's happening here in the school is so important because uh, there's so many people going to learn how to do CPR and learn some facts. I mean, I really wouldn't have survived without first responders and without them having the knowledge of how to work CPRs and CPR has been readily available. Or sorry, defibrillator has been readily available. Well, the, the first responders provide a, an invaluable service to a rural community such as Cushendall. You know, because we are uh, 45 minutes from our, near, our nearest hospital in, in either direction, we, we cannot do without their service. And I would plead with uh, others who, who may have the time or may feel strongly about the, the service to, to, to get in contact with someone and. Uh, you know, become a first responder if possible, um, because rural communities re rely on these people so heavily. And if the service was not available in, in Cushendall, then you know it would be a very different story for my family, because it, it was the difference between life and death in our case.